This week, we drive the camper van to Las Vegas, Nevada, enjoy van life at the Thousand Trails Campground, discover some cool gadgets and gear at SHOT Show, and I have some coffee out of a pod. Good morning. Good morning. I am awfully chipper for it being 7.30 in the morning and not having had coffee yet. I have been waking up early to get the book done, but today is extra special. Going to SHOT Show. Go check out all the cool gear they have. I'm excited. So while SHOT Show does have a lot of firearms products, there are quite a few outdoor and camping related type things. A lot of dogs. I know Kate is extremely excited about seeing all the pups there, and I may have to restrain her at times. Just <laughs> saying. So we're staying at the Thousand Trails because the last time we were in Vegas with the van, or actually the first time we were in Vegas with the van, we tried staying at a Walmart, and apparently between the very first time we camped in Vegas and that time, they changed the ordinances on us and we got kicked out of Walmart. It was our first time ever being kicked out of one. So since then, whenever we come to Las Vegas area, um, we will either stay out at Red Rock or here at the Thousand Trails in East Las Vegas. This is working out well for us because we can drive over to the Sands Expo Center just park at the link lot and it's ten dollars for 24 hours it's actually twelve dollars now oh it's up to twelve dollars okay twelve dollars for 24 hours so we're in site 63 so i just want to make sure no one takes our site because we're going to be gone all day one of the difficulties about being in a single vehicle like a van is that there's no real way to reserve a spot so we always make sure when we're leaving the campground we'll stop by the office and say hey just to let you know we're coming back tonight, please don't give our site away. So this is the shirt my sister got me for Christmas and I feel like it's going to be quite popular today at SHOT Show. I think it's the perfect shirt to wear to SHOT Show. <laughs> Got my badge, got my business cards, and of course, the van life hat. And I'm very excited about our van life patches. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing all the patch walls. I can't wait to do some patch swapping. Yeah, this show and Overland Expo is big for patches, so I'm ready. Let's go and get inside. Tight squeeze. All right, you ready to do this? I'm ready. Got my coffee, ready to hit the show floor. These are pretty cool. So this is the InReach Mini and the InReach Explorer. They can sync up with your phone. It kind of takes over the GPS on your phone. So while you're hiking, you have uh, two-way communication capable. So you can send text messages via satellite. Um, but you can also set it up to track you while you're going through the wilderness that in case you have a problem, uh, people will know where your location last was. And if you do get into trouble, you can text hopefully and say, hey, I need to get out, come get me. Kate would love me to carry one of these. Yes. Plus it's van sized. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking. Okay. I found a new pair of slippers for myself. Maybe that's not van friendly. <laughs> Just walk around with a pair of fish. Talk about totally unnecessary. <laughs> I see some coffee. Not just any coffee. Black rifle. So they have pods now. I think the 
this might be the first time we capture you having a pure coffee. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> How nice. is it? It's actually pretty good. Really? This has to be, I think, one of the best K cups that I've had. Wow. It's good. Go Black Rifle Coffee. Cheers. It's quite the endorsement. <laughs> I can't believe we just met Hickok45 and his son John. That was pretty cool. Uh -huh. Fellow YouTubers, love their channel. And man, those two are tall. Where's you? I don't know, let's just browse around and see what we find. Okay. Cheers, dudes. This is our good friend Mylan. Hi guys, big fan as well. walking around the show and stumbled across these. This is a ballistic vest for a canine and there's a company, nonprofit called Vested Interests in Canines and they provide these to departments free of charge for their canines. It also comes in a spike version, kind of um, stab protection for the canine. It is an awesome program if you have a chance to look them up online. You can help out canines around the country for different departments. Check out Pelican? Sure. And then we can go check out Maxpedition. These are really nice, but I don't know where we put it in the van. Under the dinette. <laughs> so one of the things I always travel with is my little Pelican flashlight. Just blinded Kate. <laughs> but I see They actually have a half-size version. That's van friendly. This is more van friendly, but this fits in my pocket just fine. Although, I may have to uh, trade down to this one. I will downsize. I think I'm going to. See if I can get a smaller one. I mean, it's just as bright. Thanks for blinding me again. You're welcome. Look what I found. Cup of Joe for Joe. This is awesome and I love the images. I just found my coolest piece of swag. What's that? Cheat stick. It's a six inch ruler and it has all sorts of uh, common knots on here. Lightweight, just clip it on my backpack and if I ever need a to remember a knot, it's right there. You want to clip it for me? Sure. Here, we got a trade. Where do you want it? Uh, one of my zippers. One of your zippers. Pick a zipper, any zipper. All right, you've been clipped. This is definitely not van friendly. Can I take a turn? Absolutely. My word. Okay, you want to put one for me? Yes. Yes. I couldn't even get this through the van door. Good lord, you have a whole family back there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I just ran into Eric and his pup Falco. Falco is a Dutch Shepherd, you said? Correct. He's a Dutch Shepherd. And Dutchie is short for Dutch Shepherd. Okay. Hi. Hi, Falco. So, one of the questions people always ask us is, how do you protect yourself on the road? And I think having a dog like Falco is probably the best option versus anything else out there. Right, 100%. So, um, dogs of this nature can be completely social and they're not going to destroy anything uh, in how we select them and train them. Uh, but the best thing is, is they're able to see, hear, and understand things that maybe when you're tucked away or you're confined within your van or whatever you're doing out and about um, exploring the road, well, you have peace of mind because these dogs are specifically trained um, to uh, protect their family, identify threats, give you a heads up, um, and then they will actually guarantee to protect you. And so we've had many instances of carjacking, kidnap attempts, or a lot of stuff, but the dogs actually prevented them. Um, 
to whereas even if you were to travel somewhere and, and firearm laws of this industry and politics get get narrowed down and kind of choke the different avenues we use to protect ourselves, none of those bylaws as of right now, they affect a family protection dog. So you're able to take them anywhere. Uh, we certify them as service dogs, so you can take them when you're eating, on the road, on the plane, or wherever you're doing. Um, and they don't have to go through quarantine. Some states, some countries have to do that. But when they're your service dog, as your family protection dog, then you get through a lot of those loopholes while staying safe on the road. I love Falco. He's awesome. Hey, bud. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Trading my van life? For this one? That's hilarious. That's a good trade right there. Excellent trade. have one of these in the motorhome. We did. Worked really well. It did. It's a good way to keep the humidity at bay. Yes. However, I think for van life, this stuff would actually work better. So when we travel in that, we can just take these packages, toss them in different places around the van, suck out all the humidity so we don't have to worry about mold when we come back from our trip. Well, I like this too because we don't. it's not just for storage. We can leave it around the van even when we're living in it. Great point. Well, I think for that, something like this would be better because they were telling me each one of these canisters will dry in about two hours and then we can put one in the front, one in the back. All right. All right moving on. Moving on. Let's see what else there is. See, now this is a tiny four wheel drive I could get down with. This is cool. Well, I think we've seen just about everything there is at the show, so I want to thank all y'all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and head over to our website, we'retherussos.com, for more cool content. All right, well, it's time for us to get out of here. Welcome to Range Day. I'm very excited looks uh, quite busy because it just opened at 8.30 and the parking lot's almost full. I'm glad we got here when we did. Let's see what shenanigans we can get into. That was awesome.